guys and welcome back to my channel. So I had my November favorites here for you. It's really not that many favorites, but I still wanted to show you them because I do have some makeup favorites in here now. So we're just going to get started and jump right in. I don't know if you can tell, but right over here, do you see that the corner has changed? Do you see it? Do you see this? Right here. Can you guess what that is? I'll have a probably in the future, I don't know if it's going to be the near future or a next year future, like January-ish future, but I'll do an updated like makeup collection because I'm still like organizing all of this right here. It's really not working that great because I don't have any containers to put in it, but if you have any suggestions on where I can get stuff to put in it, like uh, the containers a lot of people buy from Buy Allegory. Uh, they go to Bed Bath & Beyond for the bath section, they go to the container store. I've heard some people go to Target in the bath section. So let me know if you have this right here. Let me know where I can get some stuff to put in it, like uh, containers to put in. I'm using um, old birch boxes and I really didn't realize that they were going to take up so much room. So like the bottom drawers are so crowded. So let me know. But anyway, we're going to just get into this. So my obvious favorites are the Survey Moisturizing Lotion and the Tarte Maracuja Oil. I have upgraded to the Jumbo Maracuja Oil because I use this every single night. It's the best thing since sliced bread. Um, I love this, especially since like the winter time my skin gets really dry. This helps moisturize it so much. And this guy, it just makes my face feel like a baby's bottom. I'm going to be honest with you. I got the very Jumbo size that I'm at, so I can't tell you the honest price of it. But this guy is $12.99 in Hermes. Believe it or not, I have some makeup favorites. And that was all like the face favorites. I really don't have that much going on right now. But I've been using my CoverGirl At Last Day Fabulous 3-in-1 foundation all the time. I have it in medium beige, um, which is 842. I usually apply it with a beauty blender. Sometimes I'll apply it with my fingertips. I know that's not good. Or with a brush. So like it varies. But uh, I've been loving this. It's been doing like wonders to cover like some things going on with my skin since I have some life things going on right now but this is like the best thing I'm so happy I bought it I've been using the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous um, concealer in medium now I don't have this to brighten I don't have this to like do the upside down triangle this is really just to cover and match my skin so whenever I have like a little blemish when after I put my foundation on, I'll put this right over it. I put it right under to cover my dark circles. Good to go. Then I set it with an, either an under eye powder from e.l.f. or uh, the Anastasia or I have another one that I just got from Sephora. I don't remember what it was called. But yeah, so that's that. And I've been setting my foundation recently with the Serenity and Scott uh, Pressed Powder Foundation. I have it in the shade Fair. Um, and I really, really love this. I don't know, like, what you think, but I really love it. Uh, I take a brush and I, like, dab it into my skin and there goes bye-bye oils. It's great. I love it. Now, the sh eyeshadow, like, combination I've been using a lot lately, I have a tutorial on it. It's the Metamorphous Be The Change, uh, quad. Um, collaborated with Coffee Break with Danny and ColourPop. I love this quad. The sh shades are beautiful. We got like a deep brown here, perfect for the crease. We got a duochrome, um, like pinky white, which I put right in the inner corner for a highlight. A duochrome color that's like purple and blues and greens. It's beautiful for all over the lid. And then I use this like neutral brown just to put all over the lid everywhere so that even everything out in case like, you know, you can miss a spot. It happens. So I love this. And I apply this, the ColourPop shadows with my fingertips. I found that to be the best way to apply it. And then when I do the crease, I dab it in the crease, I take a brush, and I just blend it all out. But if you haven't purchased a ColourPop um, quad or shadow before, you definitely need to. Recommend this one. It is limited edition, so when it's gone, it's gone. So, and I think this was 20 bucks. Not bad for 20 bucks. And you can always find a coupon code or something. And then I've been doing my brows a lot. I've been using the Benefit Gimme Brow in medium deep. I just have deep eyebrows. This is so much easier just to all over my eyebrows and I'm good to go. So I've been using this quite a bit lately. My mom loves it. I got her one. So it's just, I think an essential. It comes in a, a wand, which I think is perfect. So much easier for me 
than using the like Anastasia Brow Wiz, personally. And the last thing I have here is a candle. Can you guess which one this is? Sweater Weather. I've been burning this so much lately. It smells so yummy. Now I'll read it to you. It says, uh, chill in the air. Cuddle up with an aromic blend of eucalyptus, jubberberry, and fresh sage that celebrates the arrival of crisp autumn breezes. It smells so yummy. You need to get this candle if you haven't already. And I swear. And I mean that. It smells so yummy. Uh, bev uh, bath, bev mm, okay, let's see if I can get this right. Bath and Body Works has them. Sometimes you get them on sale. They're usually like $22.50. But they have $11 candle sales, they have $12 candle sales, buy two for $22, it just depends. So you just gotta look out for that. So this is such a good candle. And now we're gonna talk about my random favorites. So a book I finished this month was uh, Allegiant by Vic Veronica Roth. It's the last book in the Divergent series and I can't wait to watch the movies now. The book was really good. I really liked it. I cried. I'm just going to say that. I'm not going to tell you what happened. Um, all I'm going to tell you is I cried. I was devastated at the end. I couldn't put the book down. When I would go to lunch, I would take the book out, I would take my nook out and start reading because I really wanted to finish it. I was bringing it to the kids' gym class. I was bringing it everywhere because I had to finish this book and find out what happened. Um, I got very upset though when a certain part happened. So. I was just so upset. You have no idea. But we're going to move on to something happy now. We're going to do my music favorites. I only have two music favorites this month. It's RGF Island by Fetty Wap. I love that song. I love like the thing about it. Like, you make money to spend money. In all honesty, when people say, "Oh, like, like, oh, well, you should do this, you should do that with money," when you're making your own money to spend your own money, I'm sorry if that like upsets anyone, but it's true. You're making money to spend money. What are you gonna do with it? Like, when I don't want to get like too deep, but when you die, where's all the money gonna go? Gone. Either your bank's gonna take it, or someone else is going to take it. So it depends on like you know what you have set up and whatnot. But either your bank's going to take all your money and you don't have it anymore, or someone else is going to take it. So why not you spend your own money? But anyway, and the next song is Renegades by X uh, Ambassadors. <laughs> song. I like the beat to it. I don't know. I don't know if I said the name right. It's Renegades. I'm not sure if I said that in the beginning. Um, but I really like that song. It's just a really nice song. That's all. Nothing crazy about that. But other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video, and please subscribe if you haven't already. Till next time, guys. Bye.